Well, hello. Welcome back to the Tiny Trailer Workshop. Carl and Brendan have made this, um, what is it, a, a, a winged tea light holder. And well, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Um, it seems to me that Valentine's Day is coming up pretty quick here too, so maybe we can work something in here. Okay. I am going to step back a second and come back with my piece of wood for today. Yeah, nice looking piece of wood. Huh, that side doesn't look quite so nice, but that side looks good. So I think what we will do, what will we do? Um. Okay, so let's see what this does now. Should be interesting. Okay, so we have an awful lot of pumpkins in there. So what I'm going to do, sit still. Fill all those cracks with the CA glue. I also want to reinforce the side of this.
wasn't supposed to happen, but I guess I can't be too surprised because we're doing things funny here. Because it's not quite the right angle that I want, so I'm making it be so. And it's saying, too bad.
So, piece of fig off the wood pile. Very, very wet. You can see the moisture on it there. Um, it is raining. <laughs> so, I'm going to try and do something with this. I want to put a tenon on here so that I can turn it around and put it in the truck and then I have an idea. Cutting a lot of air these days. We're getting there. This could be interesting. I, I like this. And, and yes, Alan, that's a good thing I was wearing the face shield. I don't know if you heard that or not, but it sure went clunk. Anyhow... That was a, uh, a fun project. It uh, took a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, that's why it's noon on Valentine's Day and I'm only just getting it out now. I'm still making it now. Um, the piece of scotch broom was kind of cool. Kind of bent in the first place which helped give it a little bit of an angle. And and yes, we can put a tea light in it, and there we go, we have a tea light holder. No, I don't know. I didn't like that idea. It's pretty cool. But we put a, a tea light holder in a fig splash. And then just to make it so that it's that much different, we'll put some Scotch broom flowers in the Scotch broom holder. But in addition to the scotch broom flowers, I don't know if you can tell, I'll get some pictures up later. 
this down here is gorse. It's uh, very similar, but it's not scotch broom. Scotch broom doesn't have thorns like this. See those? Big. Anyhow, this still sits kind of funny. Um, so, seeing as it's Valentine's Day, if we take a box of chocolates and we put it under the metal, they sit just exactly right. And there we go. A Valentine's, a Scotch broom Valentine's. And uh, it was fun to have you along. And, uh, well, thanks to Alan for, for the suggestions and for um, Carl and, and Brendan for doing their part too. And uh, thanks to you for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye for now.